So this study was designed uh, trying to find uh, new options for HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer patients. Um, as all of you may know, ADCs are new emerging compounds uh, being very effective for treatment for patients, not only in the HER2 positive space, also uh, for other uh, patients. And SID985, it's a new ADC compound um, in the field of uh, breast cancer. Yes, the TULIP trial was a phase three trial that randomized 437 patients to receive a seed 985 at 1.2 milligrams per kilogram every three weeks uh, versus uh, a standard of care in that setting um, that it's treatment physician's choice um, and patients could physicians could decide between four options, uh, lepatinib capsitabine or trastuzumab plus capsitabine, binoralbin or erivulin. Uh, patients at least received previous treatment with two lines of uh, therapies in the metastatic setting or TDM1. So the key findings of the trial was uh, that the trial met the primary endpoint that was progression-free survival uh, by a central review. Uh, there was a median increase of progression-free survival from 4.9 months to seven months with a hazard ratio of 0.64 and a p-value uh, uh, statistically significant. So the main toxicity of this compound, uh, it's the ocular toxicity. This is the most common adverse event and specific of this compound. Also uh, nausea um, or vomiting and also fatigue. The eye toxicity is uh, quite specific and 78% of patients had um, any kind of eye toxicity and around 21% uh, grade three or greater. So this is important to know when using this compound and follow the guidelines that are specified uh, in the protocol uh, to, to avoid patients with previous ocular uh, diseases uh, before entering the trial. And if keratitis or conjunctivitis appears on the trial, a very clear rules about the management and those reduction or discontinuation of the drug um, are to be followed. The, the toxicity of ILD that it's um, uh, it could be uh, an important adverse event. It's uh, also been observed in, in this compound. 7.6% of the patients had um, lung toxicity in form of ILD or pneumonitis. And for some patients, um, uh, there was a grade four or five. So this is also an important adverse event to take into account when using this compound. And again, patients with previous pneumonitis should not be treated with this compound. And uh, uh, this is also toxicity that should be followed and uh, treated accordingly the recommendations of the drug. So even we've, we've heard that ESMO 2020 about the results or the readout of other ADCs like the Stusma Drugstegan that will for sure change uh, the landscape of uh, treatment of metastatic HER2 positive patients, uh, patients still uh, recur or progress uh, because appears uh, new mechanisms of resistance to approved drugs. So we still need um, new drugs uh, and new options for patients in the metastatic setting. So I think that um, these uh, TULIP results may impact uh, having uh, another potential option for these um, patients with HER2 positive metastatic uh, breast cancer treated with previous treatments in the metastatic setting. Mm -hmm.